today. We find out if we can reheat prime rib and make it just as tender and juicy as the first time it was cooked. And I also will introduce you to my buddy's channel, James Mackinson, right now on 999 Things to Cook. Help the algorithm by clicking that like button. As we start with leftover prime rib. Yeah, I know it's not actually prime, but it's a rib roast nonetheless. So I'm gonna say prime rib just to make it simple. That's what the comments are for. So go ahead and tell me how wrong I am on stuff. As you can see, this is the leftover roast and it's been in the fridge for three days. It was cooked to about 133 degrees, so medium rare, and it was seared nicely. I want to keep that nice medium rare look on it and not overcook it. People often have issues reheating this and making it tough as shit and dry as a bone, which is why restaurants most often molest this leftover roast by slicing it into thin slices for sandwiches and things like that. But I want to make this just as juicy and perfect as it was the first time it was cooked. Now, while I could set the oven to its lowest setting and wrap it in foil and heat it through as gently as possible, I don't have an oven that goes less than 133 degrees, so that is the problem. I believe this calls for sous vide. This is so simple, it's not even funny. Just take the whole piece and put it into a vacuum seal bag. Seal it off. The trick here is to let it go for a couple hours at a lower temperature than it was cooked at so that it stays nice and tender and juicy. I'm setting the water to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And pretty much all there is to do is put it in the water until it is warmed up all the way through inside. It doesn't matter if it goes for two hours or three. It needs to go more than an hour though because of how thick it is. Gotta make sure the middle is heated as well. This method will ensure that the meat is extremely tender and juicy without turning it gray and absolutely destroying your beautiful prime rib so that you can cut it into thick slices and enjoy it the same way as you did the first time it was cooked. So while we wait on this, I will crack open a bottle and take this moment to raise a glass to James Mackison's channel. James Mackison is a chef who currently resides in Barcelona. His dishes are always beautiful and pleasing to the eye. He likes to take local ingredients and turn them into fine works of art. If you like to learn proper technique and how to take simple cooking concepts and elevate them, then I definitely recommend this channel to you. When it comes to cooking, the sky is the limit on his channel, and there is something for everyone. The techniques he uses are both simple and complex due to his time working in Michelin star establishments. He also does travel videos as well showing beautiful scenery from some of the world's most gorgeous destinations. The cinematography is excellent and intriguing camera shots. There is a ton of really great content on this channel, so make sure that after you're done watching this video to the end, you go and check out James Mackison and subscribe right away. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. Time to check out our roast. Good thing too, because it looks like I'm just about out of wine. Oh, and I had taken some horseradish and sour cream and mixed them together because that's just what I like to dip mine in. But anyways, remove the bag from the water. Cut it open carefully. You want to save all the juices that are in there. Now, because it's been in the bag that contained a lot of moisture, the outside part that was previously seared will now be soft. But that's not a problem here. Just make sure to take some paper towels and dry off the outside of the roast completely. Then we get to play with a little fire. And how fun is that? So without further ado, let's see how tender this came out.
always tip the servers. So why not tip the cook? You tip the delivery driver. So how about tip this cook? You tip the cute bartender. But you forgot to tip the cook. You tip the Uber driver. So how about tipping this cook? You tip the damn valet parker. But you forgot to tip this cook. You even tip that barber. So why not tip, so why not tip the cook? You even tip that bartender. So why not tip the cook? You tip that damn delivery driver. So why not tip, so why not tip the cook?